Hello beautiful people, thank you so much for tuning in. Today we aren't reviewing a tin whistle but we are reviewing something music related that could be really helpful if you're a musician that goes and plays at gigs, that goes and plays at shows, or just needs somewhere to put the sheet music when you're at home. Today we are reviewing the Craft Geek Capsule Music Stand. I was sent this for free, um, it's not going to affect my opinions on this product. I do a lot of reviews for whistles and products that people send to me and I'm always honest. Um, it's one of those things. <laughs> so today I'm going to be taking a look at this. Um, I haven't had it out of the box as yet, so everything I see will be first hand today. It does come with a few additional add-ons. There's a Craft Geek Flexi Mount, so you can also attach your mobile phone and tablet to the stand as well. And there's also a Lumi light, which I believe goes above the top of the stand so you can see your sheet music or whatever you've got on your stand. So I'll be adding these on as well. So if you're here for the unboxing, let's get into it. Now this stand differs from um, other music stands out there in that it's fully collapsible and compact, as you can see, fits into this little box. It's kind of in one piece, so it doesn't have multiple pieces to fit together. Inside the box, you can see we have an instruction booklet that tells us all about this music stand. We also have a quick start guide card, which again, just tells you how to get started and how to set this up. And of course, we have the music stand itself. It's in a protective sponge casing, so it's well packaged when it arrives to you. It's definitely going to get home safe. Now, the stand itself is actually really small when it's out of the box. The setup is really simple, as far as I've seen. I've watched a video or two, and you basically just open it out. It's all in one piece, so there's no need to do anything else. So once you've done that initial unfolding, there's a little bit at the bottom here that you twizzle and that opens out the feet at the bottom of the music stand. You then simply press down to get these out, and this is telescopic here, but you don't have to twizzle any knobs or anything, it just expands on its own. Now when we get to the actual music stand section at the top, you can see everything just sort of folds out neatly once you get started, and you've got a selection of different things along the top here that will help hold your music in place. You've got clips here that can help to peg your music in its place in the middle. This is all adjustable, so you can slide this up and down, which changes the height of whatever you're putting on here. These are sort of rubber pads along the bottom here, which stops anything from sliding off the music stand, which I think is really, really nice. There's a lot of flexibility of position. Obviously, you wouldn't have it leaning forward, but you can tilt it backwards a lot further. Um, so I really like that level of flexibility. It's so, so simple to set up and put away, which is going to be done in seconds, which I really like. It's pretty sturdy. It's definitely not going to fall over. If I give it a knock around, you can see there's plenty of movement there, but it doesn't fall over. The uh, stands at the base here, if I push this down a little, you can see it come out quite far. Uh, again, that was a one twist job to get these out, which is really nice. So it's definitely sturdy. Now, as far as weight goes, I wouldn't say that the stand was lightweight when it's compact, when it's in its compact position, but now that it's open, it doesn't feel like there's really any weight to it at all, but it's still definitely really sturdy, which I'm quite impressed with, actually. <laughs> Let's get some music on it and we'll see how the sheet music or the books and things hold. Now, the one good thing I've noticed about this music stand is that everything is adjustable. So we can even extend the width of our book here as well with these little peg sections. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put on a small book that I have. So what you can do is if you open your book, you'll find that you can peg that into place. And these adjustable side sections just make it really easy to adjust this stand to suit the size of the book that you're using. And it's all on there. This is quite a small book, but you can see that it's well held on. Now I could move this down a little bit if necessary, just to give it a little bit of extra stability there, but it's really not necessary for this smaller size of book. Now I don't tend to use books. I tend to use my own scribbles on A4 paper. 
So I'd be tending to use something like this. But again, because we have a little bit of flexibility here on these, I could peg maybe one side in and it's still going to hold in place. And these pegs are see-through, so it doesn't matter if it's going over the top of your notes. I think that's really useful. The little rubber feet at the front here mean that it's not going to slide or slip off the bottom, which I really like. Um, there is also a light that attaches on to the top of this music stand right up here. So if you were playing in the dark and you needed to have this illuminated, you could also do that as well. Now I do have a slightly heavier book here that I use from time to time. It's got a few of my scribbles in. It's A4 size, obviously it does have a little extra on the edges as well, but it's quite heavy. And as you can see, this music stand will fully hold it. You can move it around and it's not gonna topple over. I really like that. But the one thing I have noticed is that although I love these clips, they don't extend fully to that double A4. So unfortunately, the full extension of these just goes to here. I wouldn't be able to clip uh, this one sheet in, so it might blow around in the wind a little bit if you were playing outside. You can obviously use still the back section for additional stability, but it would have been nice to have these clips extend perhaps just a little bit further. When it comes to smaller books, it actually still fits on there. This one is A5, so that's quite useful to know. You can put an A5 booklet on there and still have back support here. If we move these in and we open this little booklet up to some sheet music or Native American flute tabs, you can see again that I can still use these little clips to some extent to clip that in and avoid any problems with wind. You can also move these down a little bit if you've got something that you need a little bit of extra support on as well. And this can come right the way down. So you've got a nice bit of stability in the background there. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the stand does come with two additional add-ons. Um, the phone or tablet stand, which I'm quite curious to look at. So we have a little extendable clip here. Um, it extends quite far, so you could get a decent width tablet on that, I think. It also comes with a little user manual, so it's easy to get started. There are two points on the music stand that you can put this. You can put it just underneath the ball at the bottom here, and it's a simple screw in. So you just twist, and it's there already then attached to your music stand. As you'll notice, the angle is fully adjustable. You can use a full rotation there. You've also got forwards and backwards that you can do and side to side as well. So you've got a lot of options. I can pop this one right in here and I can adjust the back of this as well to ensure that it's tight fitting, which I really like. And then your tablet is there on your screen instead of your sheet music and uh, you're ready to play with your tablet there. You can even put sheet music behind, which is incredible. If you had a slightly smaller device and you wanted to put this elsewhere, you can unscrew from the hole just here and you can also position this right at the top. Now this is usually where the light would go, but the fixtures and fittings are exactly the same. So you can screw this into the very top of the music stand as well, if you should want to. Now I mentioned earlier that this stand also comes with a light. Now, as with the other items, the light comes well boxed and packaged. There's also an instruction manual to get you started. And you just open it out like we have done with everything else so far. It can be plugged in by USB, so you can plug it into a power bank that you could also sit on here and, and use that. Or there's also the option to put AA batteries in there as well, so that you can power this light with rechargeable batteries, um, or you can also use just regular batteries as well. Um, I don't think it charges batteries through this USB cable. I think that is just to plug into a power supply. So I wouldn't recommend putting rechargeable batteries in and hoping that it will recharge because I don't think that is the design of this. Um, but yeah, it's compact, it's lightweight, it's easily adjustable. And again, we can pop it on the top here, screw it into place, and we're ready to go. It takes a few seconds and this is all ready to play music with. Now you'll probably notice throughout this that I've been lifting and raising this stand with ease. That is because there is nothing to adjust. It literally just pushes up and down and it doesn't matter what weight you've got on the top of this, um, it's not going to slide into itself, it's really sturdy. But you don't have any uh, adjustable 
knobs or keys or features to turn around, which I really like. So for good measure, I wanted to show you how it compares with my current music stand. I've got this quite weighty music stand. Um, there are a lot of screw adjustable features on this stand, um, but it doesn't actually hold its own weight. It's quite a good quality stand, yet every time I push it down, it still slides up anyway, even with these adjustable knobs turned as tightly as possible. So it's not the best. It's not the best. <laughs> it's quite weighty in general and kind of cumbersome. Obviously, it's always this size. It is always going to be this size because of this large and heavy duty panel at the top here. Um, so if I want to take this with me anywhere, I'm carrying it pretty much like it is. That is the smallest it gets. Now it is adjustable height wise, but I don't think it adjusts for a start. It comes off, um, but I don't think it adjusts to its the same height as uh, the Craft Geek music stand. As you can see here, it goes to about shoulder height, which is useful, but there is a lot of messing around required. The Craft Geek music stand is literally just a pull up system. And as you can see, it goes a lot higher than my current and regular music stand. My current stand does have little feet at the bottom or arms if you prefer to keep your sheet music in place. And there's a lot of space. This ledge is useful. The Craft Geek music stand, on the other hand, has a similar amount of space at the front here and also has that little rubber edge. So if I were to put whistles on here, I'm pretty sure they'd stay too. Now, the one thing I haven't shown you yet with this Craft Geek stand is the bag that it comes with. It's slightly padded to keep everything safe and secure. It has an adjustable strap, which is so easy to throw over your shoulder or a cross body. It does have an adjustable section here. This is Velcro, so you can uh, change the positioning of this little pouch on the inside, but the music stand will fit nicely here. All your little extras fit nicely in these pockets and there is loads of space for other stuff as well. So let me just pack this away so you can see how cool this little carry bag is. You can see with everything you need for this pouch put away in this bag, this nice padded bag, that you've still got plenty of space in here as well for adding whistles. These are high D whistles. You can see this bag is plenty big enough to actually accommodate quite a few whistles as well. So from a tin whistler's point of view, this bag is incredible. I've also had the flat whistles in here. I think it might take an A whistle even, um, even in pouches, I've put these in on top. If you happen to be working from your phone or even a small music book, you can actually fit these in the bag as well. So overall, like every other musician that has reviewed this music stand, I'm actually really impressed with it. It's definitely a product that somebody has taken a lot of time and effort and thought in the design of. It didn't take very long to arrive. Um, I was actually sent two attachments for mobile phones and tablets rather than the light. And I contacted them pretty quickly and they sent that out within a few days. So their customer service is uh, really on point as well. And the delivery times are pretty impressive. It's a great piece of kit. It's definitely something that's easy and convenient. It's solid, it's sturdy, and it's well designed with the musician in mind. I'm really impressed with it. Thank you so much Craft Geek for sending it. I really appreciate it. It's definitely gonna get a lot of use. Um, if you wanna find out more about this incredible little capsule music stand, I have put a link in the description down below. Um, you can find out the current pricing there as well. I hope this was helpful. I know it's not Tin Whistle related today, but as a musician who doesn't need a decent piece of kit, to get them through their day. <laughs> Thanks for watching folks. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm off to go play some music. Bye.